2022. Quite the year for the car scene. A lot of big things happened and a lot of people made bad decisions modifying their car. Hopefully, you're not one of them. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taking a look at the worst ricers of 2022 based on Reddit. We are going to be on the subreddits Ricer Cars and Shitty Car Mods. I'm not going to make two independent videos. That's called milking. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to do the top five or seven of each one and see what is the worst ricer of 2022. Anyways, we will alternate between each one until we get to the tippy top. So sit back, relax, and thank God you're not stupid. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Coming in at number 12, we have he limited the comments because he just knew. It says all gap your E46. <laughs> I see why he disabled the comments. What a great start to the video. We got the Amazon wing. We have a shitty cutout exhaust and then not one, but maybe two Wolverine scratch marks overlaid of each other. He didn't want it to just end right there. He wanted it to go all the way down to the bottom of his front lip. And what's a fucking bullshit cheap BMW without some M stripes up front. We all know that shit is a base model. Who are you trying to fool, man? What is going on here? His wing placement too is also subpar. Like, let's take a look at this really quick. It's like majority of it is uh, towards the front of the trunk. I mean, I'm no, I'm no physics expert, but and we already know the wing isn't doing jack shit. But I mean, just the placement of it right there, that's subpar. This guy didn't want tinted tail lights. This guy got blacked out tail lights. Call it an insurance scam. He's waiting to get rear-ended. He says he doesn't care about speed. I care about style. Well, buddy, you're missing both. You ain't got no speed and you ain't got no style. And that's why you've landed yourself on this list. By the way, what is it? He's not even pumping premium either. Dude, you got a BMW. And you're not even pumping premium. You're pumping 87. Holy shit. Yeah, I see why the comments were disabled. This guy was probably getting flamed up like a goddamn Christmas turkey. Very fitting spot and a great start of the video. All right. On to shitty car mods. Let's take a look at this one. It says, looks like the seeds grew in its stomach. Poor car. That is definitely one of the worst wraps and or paint jobs I've ever seen. I don't know why you would want your car to look like a water Malone, but someone did it. I will say the wrap and or paint job is, is, is really high detail. I just feel like you could have picked a better car. This looks like a early 2000s Hyundai. I think what classifies this as a shitty car mod is that's a whole lot of wasted money on something that's probably worth now about $2,000. Therefore, that was definitely a shitty car mod. The only thing that can explain this is it had to have been bought with a stimulus check because if the government was just handing out free money, I could see people wasting it on dumb shit like this. I'd still rather drive this though than that shitty BMW, let's keep it real. Next one says, okay, this is really well made. I am very impressed. I mean, I'm not gonna cap. The craftsmanship was there. I'm not quite sure how he made it work, but this little egg was turned into a little Aventador. It's a baby little Aventador. It's an Aventador for toddlers. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look half bad. It definitely doesn't need tri-tips inside of another exhaust tip. I don't think it needs that. And you probably could have left off the Sony and other useless stickers on the back window. But if Lamborghini made hot hatches, besides some of the less aggressive styling for the pillars and the overall silhouette, I could see this weirdly enough being one of them. Honestly, I would get more enjoyment looking at this at whatever car show this is than probably most of the other shit boxes there. Like look at the poor 86 next to it. That looks like Hulk busted a nut all over it. Yeah, I'll pass on that one. I'll look at the Aventador uh, Honda Fit. Probably the real reason why the owner did this is because, you know, it's just super embarrassing for the hookers that the Lamborghini owners that he usually gaps. It's probably super embarrassing for them to see the Honda Fit cruise past him while the Lamborghini is trying its absolute hardest to put a, a, a single fender on this poor Honda Fit. Um, so he disguised his Honda Fit as a Lamborghini to make the owners feel less bad as he's just destroying them on the freeway. That's the only logical explanation for me, honestly. This though, LOL. All right, so it, it, it is a sort of a car mod. I'm going based off of what Reddit's voting. I wouldn't have put it this high, but it's a sticker. And it says, Hocus Pocus, I got your girl in my focus. Clever, very clever. 
However, not much of a, a car mod. And also you're in what looks like a base model focus, not even an ST, definitely not no RS. So highly doubt that. All you've got in your, in your focus is the groceries for the week because you're in a grocery getter. You ain't pulling no bitches with 40 MPG. It ain't gonna happen. Clever sticker though. Definitely not top 10 though. Moving on. Well, at least they're functional. And functional they, um, they are, I guess in some weird world yeah home depot vents uh, yeah that, that mm -hmm. i've actually seen this in real life a long time ago on the guy who wraps my car's car uh he bought the car like that but um yeah he he luckily replaced the hood completely because there's there's no fix in that um yeah it was a mitsubishi 3000 gt uh, i'm not trying to throw you under the bus but i i have seen this in person it was one only it was one of these big ones and kind of just like right in the lower center part there is no method to his madness i think he just said fuck it maximum cooling like none of them line up there's not two that are alike it's not even symmetrical so let's try to decipher what he's got what, what's going on here let's try to let's try to think like a true engineer first one that's obviously an air intake okay that's obviously letting air in you can see where the fins are facing okay now this one excessive air you don't want too much of that so this will let all of the air that comes in from the air intake escape that makes perfect sense to me. These, my only assumption is when he's in a drift, these, the, at least the center one will kick in. You know, when, he, when he's out swinging the rear end of his front wheel drive car, this will help exhaust the gases sideways. Okay. Now this one, I'm guessing um, his brake masters up here. So he wants to keep that nice and cool as well as his steering column or clutch master. So keep those cool, you know, never have too much of that. And then this side, um he just threw in an extra one to throw off the enemies you know he just wanted to make it look somewhat symmetrical so he threw this one on and um it's just to make it look more aggressive 75 bucks for a racing honda civic hood has at least 70 dollars worth of vents at lowe's and home <laughs> from lowe's and home depot oh boy you can't make this shit up yeah that is a that is a ricer car mod and that is a fitting position for you moving on to the next top 10 place i think people who do this are so effing stupid and i would have to agree luckily he did it to one of the most underwhelming and overpriced and worthless and the list can go on forever cars of the modern day the scion frs the subaru brz the gt86 whatever the hell you want to call this ridiculously slow sports car at least he did it to that it makes me cringe when people do this type of stuff to fun cars like STIs and Evos. If you want to do it to a base model WRX, go ahead. I don't like those either. But when they do it to real fun cars, that's when it starts to grind my gears. But this lad right here, do it all you want. Nobody likes those. Well, the only people who do are 16 year olds and TikTokers. But besides them, not many people like those. At least it's not, I guess, super excessive camber. I mean, that's pretty mild compared to the internet. So it seems like he's indecisive if he wants to go crazy or just keep it kind of tame. In my eyes, the car's already trashed, so might as well send it to the moon and destroy that poor car. It's already fucked. I'll take the Sonic in front or Spark. Either way, I'll take that. Moving on to number six. It says rice, but nice. No, the fuck it's not. I mean, it's not bad by 2002 standards. Like we've definitely seen worse today alone, but you can't call something rice and then call it nice unless you think that rice is nice. I wouldn't even necessarily call it like 100% rice. Like, yeah, I do think the car is a little overdone, but for when this car came out, this was kind of the shit. Kind of like this. Now, this is popular right now. God, what a world we live in. Burn it to the ground. But yeah, back then, I mean, this was the shit, man. This guy probably pulled up to meets and got Gawcock 3000 right on the spot. I mean, look at this thing. And the interior actually isn't that bad. I mean, it doesn't look like he completely destroyed it. <laughs> like most morons. Oh, what a depressing driving view. Hey, that's the old steering wheel I had in my Supra. I knew something failed off about that car. Anyways, yeah, I'd rather drive this than this, surprisingly. But th this just lets everyone know you're stupid. This just lets everyone know that you're stuck in 2005. I'd rather live in my heyday of 2005 than be this guy. Like this shit do go kind of hard though. Like imagine this thing lowered with the right wheels, boost it, big intercooler sticking out, kind of fire, kind of fire. I could see why he did say rice, but nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Moving on to number five, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mesa, Arizona. 
Well, I don't have one, so I can't quite say if it's worth it or not. However, bet you this thing still probably gets pretty good MPG for what it is. I mean, think about it. Imagine getting 30 MPG with that kind of off-road setup. I mean, does it have enough power to rock climb? Probably not. Is it four-wheel drive? Definitely no. But it does have electric instant torque. So if you just save your battery reserve till you get out rock crawling, yeah, it might, might be might be pretty good. Might be pretty good. I think more people would appreciate the Prius if they uh saw him like this. A true man's car. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, I don't know why you would do this, but I mean, if I convinced two of my other buddies to do something stupid, probably look something like this. This is like convincing all your friends to get a Honda Grom, but then taking it a step further. I am really curious about how it drives. Like, uh, well, I don't know. It's interesting to say the least, and I think it's probably the least shitty car model we've seen so far. So let's go back to looking at Ricers. Number four, caution, slow as hell. Boy, God damn, this thing looks like it was made in Midnight Club LA, but the worst way possible, the bad side of Midnight Club LA. Decals and stickers everywhere, big wing, a fucking minion. Ricer handbook, get ready to check them off your bingo sheet. Big Honda banner on a Honda, check. Tow hook, check. Far can, check. Generic wide body bolt on fenders check dog shit fitment check big old wing check vortex generators check weather guards check stickers and decals throughout the whole fucking vehicle check shitty arrow kit check like, like look at this pathetic ass shit right here they call diffuser somebody put some lego bricks on the back of this bumper and called it a day what the fuck is that? This needs to be the new like go-to picture for ricer because it just shows everything wrong with them Although there's no fake hood scoop, but we can't see the front. That is definitely a top five submission and it is very worthy of its place. Like, how do you fuck up flames, dude? Put them on your wheels, like, like on the wheel arches. Like, what is this? This is dog shit. Moving on to the top three. This one just says, okay. And it has a ridiculous amount of upvotes, so it better be good. This man ate my son. My other car is also a car. My other car is an honor student, Texas, with a snail. Is it a Volvo or a GMC or an S? What is it? What even is it? I can't tell if it's a giant Tahoe or like a Volvo. I don't know what it is. Oh, it might be a Honda or I don't even know. This angle is so deceiving. Like to me, it looks like giant, like either Tahoe taillights or Escalade taillights and then but this looks way too curvy. I'm looking at the car too much. Why am I not looking at the stickers, Drew? What the fuck? You, your ADHD is kicking in. My other car is also a car. My other car is an honor student. Texas. I think if the Texas sticker wasn't there with the fucking snail on it, I really wouldn't give two shits. But when you read that all the way through out loud and then you see the picture of the snail at the end, kind of does bring a grin to your face. I feel bad. You know what? When I was a kid, I used to pour salt on snails and now i think of it and that sticker reminds me of all those poor snails i pulled i poured salt on god rest their souls can we get a moment of silence for the snails of the world that have been tortured thank you moving on to the top two this one is technically the top one of the ricer cars subreddit but it also only has 143 votes so i don't know how good it's gonna be it might be absolute dog shit let's take a look it says choose wisely choose one to live with for the rest of your life no you can't mod or tune anything neither can you take body kits or any part i don't know what happened during the end of that sentence but i almost had a fucking heart attack and an aneurysm reading it must be a plot from the snails trying to take me out anyways Honestly, uh, it's not that hard of a choice. Uh, I would choose the water in the background and drown myself. Um, no, but all seriousness, I would probably uh, choose the wheels in the background and drop them on my head until I can't see anymore. And then um, probably after that, I would probably um, pour salt on myself. The seriousness, though, I would choose the car on the right because it looks like it has enough ground clearance to run myself over if I ever had to drive something that ugly. Car on the left doesn't. That looks like a shovel. Car on the right, that'll do the job. I can't believe that was number one. That was depressing. Hopefully this one, though, makes up for it. Neighbor is painting his red car in the snow. Some masking, but not on the wheels and tires. Plus, windows are open. It's forecast to rain all day tomorrow. There's a fucking video. Oh my God, this is going to make me fucking smile. Okay, let's, let's take a look at what he's doing. I mean, that's definitely in the snow. Built not bought, homie. Are you out there grinding on your car? Are you out there putting in the work? 
to paint your car did you do that yourself no you didn't so you can't even talk you can't even open your mouth and say that this paint job ain't legit because what who painted your car the factory get the fuck out of here i don't care if the factory painted your car this madman right here this mad lad is painting his car in the snow and it's gonna rain tomorrow call that custom drip because of all the paint runs you get it because this thing isn't gonna dry I hate people also that do say like, oh, uh, d did you do it yourself? Uh, 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 and they like use that as an excuse for their car, like coming out poorly or running shitly. Like, oh, well, it's because it's, I put my I worked on it with my own hands. It's like, yeah, it's a nice feeling having your car built by yourself and shit. You know, a few of mine on my channel are built by myself. But at the same time, if you're this guy, probably take it to a shop unless he wants it to look intentionally bad. Probably take it somewhere where they have a paint booth. And also, I think the least important things to mask off are the windows because you can take a razor blade to those. I've actually seen a video and some guy actually just does that because he says it takes way too long to mask off windows. I would have masked off the wheels, tires, the headlights, taillights, closed the windows, probably not touched the door with your hand either. Mm, probably a few of those things I would have probably like not done or painted my car in the snow. But whatever, this guy's a go getter. He's got that go getter attitude. This is definitely probably though the shittiest thing you could do to your car so it is a pretty fitting spot for number one and there you have it ladies and gentlemen the top 12 ricers of the year if i had to tweak this list a little bit i would have put this more towards the top and this one as number one for the ricer cars subreddit let me know your thoughts down below that's enough stupidity for 2022 hopefully in 2023 things get a bit better as we know though that's not gonna happen hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did please let me know subscribe to see more videos like this one and until next video peace